Hello, Internet! I'm Yoli May, and we're still doing more of these. Um, I just wrapped up Emerald and Neon, and this is one I didn't know was even a thing. But... Hang on, where is it? Nope. Uh, there it is. Uh, time for my first date with Gwen, sponsored by Evelyn. So, I had no idea this is a thing. Apparently, this is a Evelyn event. So, yeah. Might as well do it. So, um, I'm going. Okay. Have fun. Sure. The meeting at the markets. Excuse me? Carrots, we both know why you're on the feet this early, despite it being a Saturday. At least try and be discreet about it. Yeah, she always sleeps in. Which I respect. I've actually been... I've actually been sleeping in on uh, Saturdays myself. Hey, you shut the fuck up. I've actually been sleeping in on Saturdays myself just because, like, I get excited for Ruby. I really do. And it comes out at, like, 4 p.m. my time, so I don't want to wake up at, like, a reasonable hour and just be like, oh, man, I got this many hours until the new Ruby episode. No, I want to wake up, like, as late as possible just so that way the wait isn't as long. I'll let you decide on how depressing that sounds. I should probably do the same thing for Death Battle on Sundays. But oh, fuck it, anyway. Uh, you, you sure you can't stay? Oh, by the way, I recognize the redhead, uh, Octavia, because uh, she got to do some stuff in Before the Dawn, one of the books that E.C. Myers wrote. So, if you like this character and want to see more of her, check out them books. About teams, coffee, and sun. After the fall, before the dawn. They're good. Or if you don't feel like reading them, just maybe get the audiobook. That works too. But. Check them out, is what I'm trying to say. Gwen, I'll be looking out for you, but this is your date. Your time in the spotlight. I can only support from you from afar now. I'm afraid I'll screw up. Oh, and I also recognize her, Gwen, mostly because she's the girl that um, Scarlet fought in the Vital Festival. She's the one that's got all the blades, and they almost fell on Scarlet, and it was pretty funny. And then he got a coconut to the bulls, and he was never seen by anyone again. Visibly, I mean. Because, yeah. Like, in the show, Team Sun only really has two members. Like, he's a thing in the books, and he does more, which I'm happy about. It's perfectly normal, but there's nothing you can do other than your best, which is a fact of life, by the way. All you can ever do is your best. That's all anyone can ask of you. That's something my mum says to me, like, a whole lot when I was growing up, so... Oh, I see your Prince Charming coming this way. That's my cue to leave. Wait, wait at least. Ta-ta, be good now. I feel like I'm getting better at reading these. Mostly because I did these already, but whatever. Hi, Gwen. Good morning. Mm. Uh, that was a terrible gulp. Mm. There we go, that was a little better. Hi, hi. Well... Oh, wow, you're absolutely terrified. Am I that scary? Yes, you're horrifying. Leave! <laughs> uh, what? No, I mean, yes, I'm terrified, but not of you. She's lying! She's terrified of you! Leave! Get out of here! You're scaring the kids! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, enough of that. I'm, I'm in a really sassy mood with this event. I don't know why. Well, what of then? It's your fa- uh, uh, It's hard to stop. Uh, screwing up, doing something to embarrass the both of us. Hmm? Yeah, I figured. 
then uh, how about we start by doing something easy? You know, like we can walk and talk, right? What? Walk? Yes, Gwen. It's this brand new thing called walking. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. You put one foot in front of the other, and then you put that foot in front of the other foot, and you keep repeating that over and over and over and over. Seriously, it's hard to stop. <laughs> yeah, we can walk around Vale, you can tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, you can do that, can't you? Yeah, I can do that. Ah, <sighs> we look at that, she's adorable, kill me now. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to do it again. Hang on, is it behind my... thing? Oh! I got this. Kill me now. Alright, Evelyn. Ah, damn it, it didn't work. I think my pulse pistols are effective. Well, cavalry's not coming just yet, love. I have another one I could try that, but I think that that joke has sailed. Yeah, feels like a great guy. Oh my, oh my. Why am I fucking up? I was doing so well! Damn it. <sighs> my oh my, for a choice made on a whim, I seem to have struck true. Oh yeah, this happens. Octavia? What are you doing here? By the way, um, I'm really glad I listened to the audio audiobook of, um, Before the Dawn. Otherwise, I would have no idea how the hell I'm meant to pronounce that name. <laughs> keeping an eye on my teammate, and you're keeping an eye on your boyfriend, I assume. You could tell? Of course. Uh, the body language you displayed last time was quite different from the one you made when we first met. Even if it was a uh, lack of restraint. You could tell- Why? How dare- <laughs> Now that's not the right question here, Miss Girlfriend. I'm just looking out for my teammate. The real question is, why didn't you just tell Gwen he already has a girlfriend? Got a point. Hmm. I feel like you're using this date as a test of sorts. Shut up! This is one of the weird events to me. Oh my, she's relaxing and enjoying herself. This is going wonderfully. Why? <laughs> okay, I can't do an Android 16 voice, but hang on, let, let me try and attempt it. <sighs> I want to murder Son Goku. Hello, bud. What is your name? Toriyama? I would love to see your dinosaur. It does what? Why are you still here? Any excuse to try and do a voice? Actually, let me know in the comments. Was that a decent 16 impression? Minus the filter. Because obviously they do like a filter on his voice to get him sounding like a robot, but whatever. Oh, this is nothing short of a miracle, believe me. The only way Gwen has ever been able to relate to men in a normal way is when she's turning them into pincushions. Because she's got a lot of knives. Pin you call that normal? I mean, Evelyn, considering the first time uh, you and player character met... grounds to judge whether or not uh, people consider things normal. Just saying. It was really weird, really creepy. It is quite the norm for a... Uh... I was doing so well. It's quite the norm for spectacle fighters. Anyway, they seem to be hitting off splendidly, don't they? B b big deal! We have a, rela a great relationship too. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. I'm just wondering how much of it is because... Oh. 
I'm just wondering how much of it is because uh, your love relationship and how much of it is instead because of your previously established friendship. Gwen and Seth seems to be getting along swimmingly despite them not knowing each other at all. That that doesn't mean anything. Okay, no, 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 that laugh, that is so unfair. That's the kind of smile on her face I haven't seen myself. How does he do it? I'm so jealous right now. You are one twisted individual. Evelyn, I'm going to call back to the first time you and the player character met. Just saying. You got no right. Am I the only one who thinks what she did was really creepy? Because it seriously was. Uh, should I take this as a compliment? Miss uh, pushing my boyfriend in someone else's arms to prove I didn't trick him into a relationship? Oh, damn. Uh, you're in. Are you getting some kind of enjoyment out of this? Considering she's smiling. I think she is Evelyn. Dear. I don't know why I added dear there, but whatever. Hardly. All I care about is Gwen's happiness. But I guess I couldn't ignore your desire for self-loathing. I, I don't need to prove anything. I know he... <laughs> you can't even say it out loud. Shut up! Let's make one thing unmistakably clear here. Fast. If I wanted to, I could have just broken the two of you up. I still can. Whenever I want. Only reason I haven't is because this isn't about Gwen getting a boyfriend. I want her to grow up as a person. I want her to be able to stand on her own two feet. To be able to do this again and again without the need for my help. So Mark is... Hmm, what? Oh, I, I thought I was still reading her dialogue. <laughs> so Mark is... What? A, a stop slab for you? A, a stepping stone? That's not for me to decide. Nor up to you. Since you're too insecure about your relationship, you can't let to even say the L word. It's only up to them. And there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I don't know. Everyone seems to be into polygamy in this universe. So, hey, if she wants in on it, then why not? Hmm. Seems like they already decided. Pardon? Two of them? Yeah, I still can't believe it myself. I have, I have some thoughts on that. I'll save for the review. But... Hmm. I yeah, know, it's mostly Evelyn's handiwork. She's quite convincing. Still, you've never been on a date before. How do you... That, that's my question. I don't really know myself. I guess it's because I'm the protagonist of a dating sim game thingy. That got, that got real meta. I did not expect that. All I know is that both Penny and Evelyn, uh, they, they're really, really important to me. And, well, the relationship just feels right, you know? This thing is trying to just crawl its way off my head. It's kind of annoying. Uh, no one has uh, had to say or do things differently from before. That's, it's just more and I want it to uh, be that way. I see. Thanks for, thanks for sharing. I, I don't understand. What happened here? Uh, seems like Gwen too wants to become a better person. And since she didn't feel comfortable... Uh, at all train this as a romantic date, she decides to use it to get information from the other. Obscure side that are boys. I mean, we are very strange. I, I can say this confidently as a boy. 
If there's anything you can take from this uh, video, I am indeed boy. We are very strange. I keep my stud, he keeps his beauties, Gwen gets an insider, everybody wins. But you, you lose. Wait for it. Interesting. Hmm? And then we get this shot. <laughs> okay, when it says, well, hello there. I'm just picturing Obi-Wan. <laughs> Very interesting. You, Mark, this penny I still haven't met. Very interesting indeed. I don't think we're quite ready to extend that relationship yet. Not going there. So, uh, wouldn't grow out of uh, preference. She's got growing on me. Oh, God. Is she now? Yeah, definitely interesting. I thought that would be... Uh, nothing but boring people in Huntsman Academy, but you've piqued my interest. Hmm, I see, a good thing or a bad thing? Yes. Best response there, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I was about to go, like, tap tap. That's not an answer. It is an answer, and it is a great one. Ellen doesn't quite know what to make of this. Nor do I, and I think this is a good stopping point because I finished the free that I did previously, and hopefully this microphone has picked up the audio this time. You better have, you metal bitch. Anyway, so, hope you're enjoying these. I'm hoping the, the, my weird sass thing didn't put anyone off. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that's all the recording I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to turn off the recording, uh, progress through the game a little bit, set some up, and we'll see where everything goes from there. All right, so thank you for watching all well, that stuff, and because I did Yang last time, I can restart the cycle. Here is my Ruby outro. Bye. This is Ruby Rose, and you've been watching your only mate. Bye.